from Atlanta, Georgia, Bobby Dodd Stadium and the home of the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. The rambling wreck is here, and these fans have been waiting since early in the day to get this one cranked up. Today, a couple of teams getting set to square off in an ACC battle. As we'll see, the NC State Wolfpack taking on the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Yellow Jackets will kick it away first. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So NC State's offense will get the first swing of the game. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. Well, you immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion, so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of a spot. Well, good decision there by the QB. A little zone read action. He reads the defensive end, crashing down, keeps it himself, gets a nice chunk of yards. And when you do that, you sort of get the drive going or keep it going, as the case may be. It's amazing in college football now how big of a part of each offense the zone read has become. We're seeing more and more athletic quarterbacks on rosters now. That is a staple of this sport. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. The Wolfpack will have to bring the punt team onto the field. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. No return coming here as he signals for the fair catch and makes it right around the 30-yard line. So Georgia Tech's offense has the ball for the first time. You know, yards figure to be hard to come by through the air, but some quarterbacks, Jesse, just love to go at the star corner. Yeah, and this guy's got confidence. He's not afraid to go at anybody, but he better be careful because this cornerback is one of the best in the nation. One of the best, no doubt. And I think they will trust him on defense to make plays. So you got to make a decision. Is my guy good enough to beat him on the outside? I am fascinated by this matchup. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. The back goes in motion. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Got it behind the line. It's Alexander. And that will go backwards. A negative play in that defense on high alert that time. You know, you got to be careful as a QB throwing to your running back in man coverage. If there's a linebacker draped all over him, then that, that ball's not going anywhere. And you just saw it right there. Better play by the defense. Back to throw. It's King. Trying to get to him. Coming after it. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. And that is your job. The O-line has to protect the quarterback. That's the most important position on the field. You got to make sure you keep him upright. You got to do a better job. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Now improvising. And this defense is bringing the heat another sack. Man, you can't draw it up any better than that. First possession, force a third down. You want to shut the whole crowd up? Sack the quarterback, create some momentum. Now you're getting the football back to your offense, probably with great field position. And the Yellow Jackets line up to punt it away. 
They'll work to pin him deep. He'll feel the punt and take it back. He'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a win. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Trying play action. Shoots it to the left. He makes a catch. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. When you get man-to-man -man coverage and you're running that curl, I got to sell him deep. I got to get a little bit of space where I can make him think, I'm running deep, running deep, and then I sit down real quick. QB, wide receiver on the same page, first down. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him on to the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Looking to pass, it's McCall. It's incomplete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. Oh, that hit him in a bad spot, right in the hands. Great play. You still get a pass breakup, but, man, that could have been an interception by the defender there. Nice break on the football, but secure that big fella. Get the six. Get the pick six. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Fires to the right. Got his man downfield. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. That was a really well-run route on the curl to pick up the first down. Yeah, and it's a nice job, too, by the receiver, getting his depth and then finding space in between the defenders, giving his quarterback a nice target. North Carolina State defining efficiency on this drive. They'll keep it on the ground. Pushes ahead for a pickup of one down to the 13. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Give to the running back. Relying on that running game inside the red zone. He picked up three to the 11. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. On third down, going up top. And he can't quite make the connection as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. That is no good. After the miss, no change in the score. And that's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. The Georgia Tech offense rolls back onto the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Finally, lost one deep down the right side. And that deep shot's going to wind up incomplete, but we do have a flag on the field. Let's see what the official says. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught it. 
Single back formation, and they give it to him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Looking to throw, it's King. And the pass is in, complete jarred loose by the hit. A third and long coming up here. He's looking downfield to throw. Buys a little time with his feet. At the 45 on his way. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. It's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme. There is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up, and he's 20, 30 yards down the field, and there's nothing you can do about it. The Yellow Jackets racing to the line in the hurry up. They'll throw it on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Boyd. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Love the route there by the tight end and man-to-man -man coverage. He's able to separate from the defender, and then once he has the ball, he's able to rip through the tackle and go get more yards. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Incomplete, and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic and fortunate to get it back. Oh, and on defense, you just got to be able to finish that play. That defender had the football in his hands. He's just got to catch it. That should have been an interception. A third down play coming from the 32 as they try to keep the drive going. The play action fake. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. Man, third and one. We're bringing in all the beef, right? We're bringing more guys to the line of scrimmage, more guys near the ball, thinking run, run, run. How about this? They try to be coy, slip the pass in there. Defense says, no, no, no. They were ready for it. Get the big sack. Get the loss. Yards play. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. And it's right down the boulevard. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut them out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. He'll do it himself. It's a fumble. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. He pulled it and kept it on the option, but he couldn't keep it away from the defense. I think the QB made the right decision not to pitch it. He needs to do a better job with ball security. The defense, they were able to get and swarm to him quickly and dislodge the football from his body. Line gets set, first down. Used the play fake, now to throw. They're working that left side. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. These guys are called matchup guys. They're not the biggest guys on the field, but they're going to win. Short, and they're going to catch the ball, and they're going to make yards after the catch. You can tell those are the type of guys in college football that are starting to get maximized and used a lot more than they were in the past. Looking downfield, it's King. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. 
Listen, QBs and wide receivers got to be on the same page. And they, you got to know when to throw that curl route. It's got to be on time, right when the wide receiver breaks so the DB can't catch up. Nice job, QB and wide receiver, being on the same page, getting some positive yards. With the run on first and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. A quick strike, just as we expected. Yeah, and quick strikes are easy when you got such great field position. Obviously, when the offense starts in such a good spot, puts the defense in a bad position, and the offense takes advantage. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. Just about set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. Off the play fake on first down, to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Collins. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Nice confidence by the QB, good throw over the middle of the field. Nice little strike down the field for a big play. Listen. You've got to throw it where it's open. And he found a slot, found a little hole in the middle of the field. Nice job attacking it. Looking for a man. It's McCall. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hand. Well, I don't know if the big fella got freaked out because he was so wide open on that play, but that is a catch he has got to make for his quarter. Couldn't get anything done on first down. Now second and ten from the 46. He'll keep it himself. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Really nice job by the defense, shutting down all the options. Don't let him get into his reading phase. Go get him right now, play sound, and more importantly, tackle him and get him on the ground. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Gonna throw it to the right, he's got his man. And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time. Spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense. Understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. NC State going up tempo. Thank you, On the move, it's Waters. <laughs> And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Rides to the back. Can't get him to the ground. They make the stop to the 19 after a pickup of five. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. What could have been set up in a long yard situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. Back to throw. It's McCall. Fires to the wideout. He makes a grab. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, Wolfpack. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Lining up to add another. Yeah. 
And with the extra point, the lead is cut to three. It's 10 to seven. They put together an 81-yard drive and the capper a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. The rambling wreck offense rolls back onto the field. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Second down coming up. They'll try the run. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, give him one. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long, ball's at the 25. Looking for a man, it's King. Floating away. And he tried to make something happen with his feet, but they stopped him short, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Yeah, and the QB decided to take it himself. He got a little bit of pressure, you could see, and decided to take off, scramble, and couldn't get the first down. And now it's fourth down decision time. No matter where it is on the field or what the distance is, you know there's a chance we still might go for it. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Just needs a crack to get a return. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And after the tackle, that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. Guys, we've reached the end of the quarter, and Georgia Tech has the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. They've swapped into the field, and we're ready to go in the second. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. On second down, lost the throw. He'll try to do it himself. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane opener, you don't sack him right away. You allow him to get outside the pocket. He is going to take off, and he is very difficult to tackle in the open field. He's got running back-like ability out in space. Fullback's got it. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. And the fullback breaks off a nice gainer there. No such thing as just three yards in a cloud of dust with this guy. He can make people miss and get you a play. Kept it on the ground on first down. See if they stick with that plan on second. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, running back on the move. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. NC State to bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Georgia Tech has the ball back, and here comes the Yellow Jacket offense. They'll give it to the back. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23, a pickup of four. 
You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Here's the handoff. Barrels all the way to the 29, a gain of six. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality, offensive line gets to assert themselves, run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Tackle is made after the first down. You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. And the Yellow Jackets have it with a first and ten. He'll pull it on the read. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. Give to the single back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's amazing how play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right where you are. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving and they've got it at the 45. It's going to be tough on this defense containing this guy because he's got that sixth sense to get outside the pocket, and at that point, he's thrown it and hurting you, or you can take off and run. That time, able to get the first down. Big challenge for the defense moving forward. The Yellow Jackets look to keep this drive humming. Looking for a crease. It's Haynes. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Trying to impose their will with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Offensively, you want to run that counter, right, to try to take advantage of hyperactive defenses, but just poor execution. Not a good job of understanding where I need to go when I bounce that thing backside and it bounced outside. You want to take that thing inside, so the offense needs to operate a little bit better and maybe not run as much counter because the defense got in there pretty quick. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. And the Yellow Jackets will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. Handoff from the gun. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Now, that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground. Short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Dropping back. It's McCall. Quickly complete. And they do a really good job. Not as easy as it looks to get those blocks. And he picks up the first down. Big play in the passing game there. And I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Trying to find his man on first down. 
Looking left. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. Well, the receiver did everything right. He ran a good route. He got his head around. He just didn't finish the play. Just look it in. Now on second down after the incompletion. Off the play fake. Just a short pass to the tight end. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards over there. Wide open downfield. They got him free for a big gainer to the 43. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. NC State, quick to the line. He's going to pass. Grabbed over the middle. It's Rodgers. And he's brought down after a nice game. And the offense here dialed up a really good zone beater. Give credit to the offensive coordinator. He called the right play at the right time. Wolfpack with a first and ten here. They keep attacking through the air. Makes the catch. So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. First and goal now as NC State tries to find a way to score. And it's caught! Touchdown, Wolfpack! And how about that? His second receiving touchdown of the ball game. Find ways to get your athletes the ball. They'll do the rest. That's number two. They better start playing some better defense. And number three is coming soon. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Really good defense. You know, you're trying to stay as close as you can to all these targets, and most importantly, those open field tackles and getting them on the ground as soon as they catch it. That's a major deal for defenses, and that was a good example there of it. Back to pass, it's Kane. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. At the 35, he's loose. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. This guy just gives you that. I mean, he's just got so much electricity. He just pulls it down and chews up yards like it's nothing. That's a quarterback. A quarterback doing that to your defense. The Yellow Jackets want to crank the tempo. Quarterback on the keeper. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. The inside handoff. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. 
You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. After picking up a couple at second and eight. It's a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. In the draw play, you know, it's about looking over here, look for pass, and then slip it in real quick. Defense, too quick getting in the backfield, caging that ball, making it stay in the middle of the field, getting the big TFL. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, he drops to throw. Dances away to buy time. Ball is free. The D scoops it up, and everybody reverses field. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. You've got to have better ball security on offense. The football possession, that is priceless. Losing possession, turning the ball over, that kills you in games. That loses games, and that is a bad, bad play at a bad time. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time, wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Looking for space, it's Waters. Makes his man miss. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it, get the first down, don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. It's first and 10 from the 44-yard line. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Looking downfield, it's McCall. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. At the pace this guy's going at right now, this could be a record-setting type day. This could be a game for the ages for this dude. He already has two touchdowns, picks up that first down. This is still the first half, guys. What is this guy capable of doing the rest of the game? We're going to find out. He's looking to throw it. Fires deep toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, North Carolina State. How about the day for this young fella? Three receiving touchdowns. Hey, defense, that guy's good. We might want to do something about it. Let's send two at him. Let's send three at him. We can't let this guy continue to beat us time and time again. The AT unit on the field. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Georgia Tech offense rolls back onto the field. He wants to throw. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you got a good opportunity. Create some momentum. Cut it to a one-score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. Quick strike complete and he'll run across the sidelines after the good game 
I really like this slot receiver because of his shiftiness, and you see that on his route running. Really, really nice job creating separation for his QB. Line getting set on second down. Looking to throw, it's King. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. Well, they rep this play every day in practice, what, 50 times? Simple hitch route. Quarterback puts it right on, and receivers just got to finish the play. Went up top on second down. That leaves him needing a yard here on third down. Looking to throw it again. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. And he was off to the races. Finally tripped up at the 36. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one, they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon. And there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. And the Yellow Jackets have it with a first and 10. Quickly out to the tight end. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Wide receivers everywhere on second and six. He's looking to throw. Here he goes breaking the pocket. Finds a crease at the 20. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't. And he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. Tackled almost immediately. They're well short of the first down. And that's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. And he's on his way. He'll go all the way. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. On to attempt to try. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown, and the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And with time running out here in the first half, this offense will choose to take a knee. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys. Looks like we've got a great game day atmosphere today in Atlanta. And we can't get very far into this halftime breakdown without talking about that stud linebacker. The kid's been everywhere all at once through two quarters. From clogging gaps to causing turnovers, he's been a one-man gang. Public enemy number one for that opposing sideline. And with that, let's send it back to the guys on the flats at Bobby Dodd Stadium. North Carolina State will kick it off to open the third quarter. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The rambling wreck offense rolls back onto the field. Dropping back, it's King. It's caught downfield. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. Need to do a better job as a defender tackling the catch. On the curl route, he had a chance to break on the ball, get the receiver down, couldn't do it, and as a result, they give up an explosive play. 
And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Not a lot of daylight, he gets one to the 32. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Missed receiver there, it's incomplete. And that's where quarterbacks, you know, they got to be very assertive. They got to believe what they see and really pull the trigger. But the longer they wait and they get off rhythm or off timing, a lot of times it ends up in incomplete passes. They couldn't connect on second down, now staring at a third and nine. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. Still on his feet at the 45. Open runway ahead. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Georgia Tech! And that one will put him up here in the second half. And to have a rushing touchdown of that type of yardage, you've got to be able to make something miss. It's one thing to get into the second level, but can you make that last defender miss? And you saw it on that play. Once he was in the clear, with his speed, he was gone. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And he caps things off with a scintillating 68-yard scoring run. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. NC State sending the offense back onto the field, looking for a physical attack from the gun. Uh, I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. On the run, it's water. A collision, and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. Looking to throw for it. With the catch, it's Rodgers. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. Wants to throw. It's McCall. And the defense gets to the quarterback. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. They'll try to put it in drive this time on second down from the 22. Working the middle, it's complete. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. Love the play call on the RPO. That time the defender bites on the run fake, and that opens up the window for the slant coming in behind it. Nice job. NC State on the move, set up with another first down. He'll do it himself. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. 
Nice job by the defense shutting down all the options. Making sure it wasn't easy to read. Nice job going to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. Here comes the offense on second down. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Powers through the defender. And he didn't have a whole lot of operating room after the juke. Not much room to run. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. From the gun, wants to pass. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that. You can show your exotic looks. You can get the pass rush going. Everybody in the back end expecting throw. And that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. Looks as if NC State will have to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. And the punt team able to sling him to the ground. Georgia Tech has the ball back, and here comes the Yellow Jacket offense. David, they love to do what they did last time. And that pass is intercepted. Touchdown, NC State. A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. Man, how great is it to see the most athletic position on the field doing work, showing he could be a running back, showing he could be a wide receiver. I mean, what else can't a defensive lineman do? What an athlete. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. On the run from inside his own five. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. The Georgia Tech offense rolls back onto the field. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do, because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. You got to go out, not try to get it all back here in one play. Just execute the offense. Makes the grab on the left. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. They saw that blitz coming, and the way to get out of it is find the tight end. Yeah, how quick did he see that, too? He sees the blitz, understands. This is a matchup where I got my big tight end, the big fella I trust. I'm going to find that matchup, get him the football for the first down. It'll be a first and 10 from the 29. Throwing right. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. I love the coverage in the back end by the secondary. That DB was glued to the wide receiver, just staying right behind him. He was able to locate the ball and get his pile out there to knock it down. The incompletion leads to second and ten. They'll run it from the gun. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. These are the ones in the stands where you get booed if it doesn't work. Why would you run the ball on second and long? You stink, OC. Or you get the big applause and you're like, yes, nice job keeping the manageable third down situation. Good call. So tough spot to be in in second and long. Nice answer. Nice run by the running back. They'll throw on third and short. Unloads to the right. Got his man. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. Man, how about defense? I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I gotta be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. The Yellow Jackets come to the line in the hurry up. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. At the 20, he's got space. 
And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Yeah, defensively, you better be ready to run east and west when you're playing against this offense in their running game. That time, the offense was able to outflank the defense to the right side for a big play. And the Yellow Jackets will snap it on first and ten. Right back to the well. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. Dropping back, it's King. Let's it go to the end zone. Oh, picked off. Really nice focus by this sophomore, and he jumped on his chance to make a play. Well, the defense comes away with the pick there with their nickel personnel. And I think moving forward, if you're on offense, when you see that personnel on the field, you want to run the ball against it because you got smaller guys out there. Or if you're going to throw, think about quick screens outside when you have tight ends flexed on the perimeter, bigger bodies blocking smaller guys. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. It's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. He's looking to throw. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. So they're facing third and short from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires left. It's a fumble on the play. The defense snatches it, and they're going the other way. And that's why you hustle to the football. So many guys getting there, and yes, does he, does he break some tackles and make a play, but the next guy flying in there is trying to break all these tackles with all these guys, and what happens? All these guys got their hands near the football. Somebody gets a hand on it, forces the fumble, forces the turnover, and the big momentum swing back to the other side. The rambling wreck offense rolls back onto the field. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. From the 22 on first and 10. To the air, it's King. Gets it out fast. And that completion good for a short game, but they still have some work to do to pick up the first down. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field too, but don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Got some room headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Well, let's count them up. One, two, three. Three is the magic number for touchdown. Yeah, it's as easy as ABC. Goodness gracious. He's been getting whatever he wants, whenever he wants, however he wants. I might want to change something up or maybe focus on that guy that's getting the football a lot and scoring. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with a 14-yard run for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. 
Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. The give from the gun. Just searching and working for the running room as he gets it out to the 26. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Off play action. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. NC State going up tempo. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and they can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attack. Big first down sack for the defense, brings up second down. To the air, it's McCall. Got his man quickly. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. And offenses nowadays, they're really just counting numbers. How many guys do you have out wide? How many guys do I have out wide? If I have enough guys to block your guys, boom, it's just built into the offense. Pitch, catch, let me get a few yards. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Well, in the first half, this offense was up and down the field. It seemed like everything they were dialing up was working. And here we are in the third quarter, and there's a very rare incompletion on their own end of the field. Maybe that's the play the defense needs now to spark some momentum. The Wolfpack will line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. And that is how a punter helps out his defense, pinning them deep in their own territory. Georgia Tech has the ball back, and here comes the Yellow Jacket offense. Leaves it with the back. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 10. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Now the play fake. Scrambling away. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. Well, the problem with the play action game is that it forces the QB to hold on to the ball just a little bit longer to allow some of these plays to develop. And of course, that gives this defense longer to get after. Him. Third and 10, still backed up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. To throw, it's King. Pressure coming. Bought a little time, lets it go. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. The Yellow Jackets send out the punt unit. He gets it away from his own end zone. He gets a block. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. And now the offense will come onto the field again. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. And there's so much for a quarterback to think about. Stick it out in the belly. Do I pull it? Now when I pull it, oh, I got to get my feet set. Make an accurate throw to the right guy. So a lot of things going on. And I think they, you saw that led to a little bit of inaccuracy. 
right back up top on second and ten. With the catch, it's Rodgers. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. The defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. At the 35, he's open. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. This quarterback doing a lot of good decision-making on that last play. First off, nice job extending, but then understanding what the coverage was, understanding nobody's open, and then going, hey, look, I can go get this myself, and finally, not only am I going to get this first down, I'm going to take care of myself, too. I'm going to slide. I practiced this all week. A little baseball slide action. We got a fresh set of games. And you can tell if the QB wants to run, he's going to be a big part of the game plan. And the defense really, really understands that. I got to understand. And more importantly, when I get a lick on this cat, I got to take it. Like, not dirty, not cheap shots, but end of the plays, when I can be physical and really make him feel me, I think that'll always bode well in a fourth quarter game. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Wide receiver shows motion. Goes to the option. He has the first and still on his feet. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. NC State needs to take advantage of this red zone trip. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. And on third down, he calls his own number. Really nice job by the quarterback, making the decision, being decisive. He does a good job going, getting the first down, a new set of downs for this offense. So now the opportunity with a touchdown to take the lead. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Second and goal for this offense. Tries again to get it in. And he gets it back to the four-yard line and no farther. It's looking like they're going to have to throw this one in now on third down, David. And you know the execution just has to be spot on. Timing especially at the quarterback position. And thinking about the defense, they're aggressive in these situations. They're going to play man. They're going to play up tight on you. So I know that. Now how do I counter punch and attack this defense? Almost intercepted in the end zone. And what a red zone stop that would have been. It'll be fourth down. This is a no-brainer right now. After that incompletion, trailing by what you are in this area of the field, fourth and short, just kick the field goal. It's what you need to give yourself a chance to win. So this is going to be rife with drama and overflowing with pressure on this field goal try. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. Guys, we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. Well, there's some good fortune for that kicker. After hitting the upright, it still was good, and his team's now tied the game late. Here comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Georgia Tech offense rolls back onto the field. 
They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Back to throw. It's King. He's got his man. They get it out to the 36 and on the move after a pickup of 15. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback can throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. Gets it out quickly. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. I love the anticipation on that throw by the QB on the out route. you got to throw it before the receiver comes out of his break. Nice work. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. Grab behind the line. It's Boyd. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. Moving out of the pocket. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. Hey, it's a heads-up play right there. Listen, you're trying to scramble. You're trying to make something happen. Nobody's open. You're not going to be able to get out of bounds. Just protect yourself. Get down on the ground. Get what you can get and live to play another day. They'll line up for a second down play. From the gun, the running back has it. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Well, on offense, you've got to love the way your offensive line is playing in this game. They're getting tremendous movement up front. They're climbing in the second level and really giving these backs and ball carriers a lot of room to run all game long. And the Yellow Jackets have it with a first and ten. Handoff to the lone back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, a good call by the defense there. They dialed up blitz into that running play, and the linebacker able to make the stop. Hit a little speed bump on this drive. It's second and 12. Scanning the field. It's King. Get it out on the screen. Across the 25. He's got room. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And there you go. You see, you don't have to throw bombs to get big plays in the passing game. Just screen it to your running back. As soon as he catches it, he gets upfield. And how about the downfield blocking by these linemen and the wide receivers as they rip off that explosive play? Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. He's got it. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. They've got the lead here in the fourth. Man, it's not an accident. They're featuring this guy. His second receiving touchdown of the game. That's your job as a coach. Find my playmakers, get them the ball so they can do damage and have games like this right here. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. 
North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Snagged in the middle, it's Concepcion. Good, solid pickup on that one, and they've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. Well, this defense has tried to find ways to disguise their coverage and mix it up to try to confuse the QB. It's not working, though. With that last completion, he's now got over 300 yards passing. Starting this drive like that is exactly what they had hoped for. Now first and 10 from the 40. Takes a handoff. It's Waters. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. To the air, it's McCall. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have led him a little too much. You know, it's a good decision by the QB because his intended target wasn't open, so throw it out of bounds. You can live to play another day here on this drive. Just shy of midfield at the 47. The defense needs a third down stop. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Throws to the tight end. Another incompletion on third down. And this is why coaches get paid the big bucks. Tough decision on your own side of the field. Fourth quarter, I'm trailing. Is it go time now, or do I trust my defense? The Wolfpack will have to bring the punt team onto the field. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. The rambling wreck offense rolls back onto the field. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. They've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. After the first down completion, it's second and short. They'll go with a direct snap. Oh, look out! And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage of the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. One big play, and you go from a little backed up to threatening. It's first and 10 from the 40. Might as well give it to him again. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. The handoff as they run the counterplay here. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. And they can't make the play on third down. Third and long situation. They try to go screen. I think they were hoping it was going to be a big zone and they could get those offensive linemen down the field, but the defense sniffed it out, forcing the incompletion. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. And that is no good. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Hey. 
And now on second down for this offense. He'll try to pop the draw. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Ball is at the 41 as this defense tries to force the punt on third and long. Looking to throw, it's McCall. He's got his man. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. What a great play by the defensive tackle. Look, sacks aren't just for very athletic, long defensive ends. These D tackles, man, they use their strength. They push Lyman back in the pocket, collapse it, and come away with the sack. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. They'll run play action. Finds his tight end. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Important in the passing game that it's not just receivers doing all the work. You got to get running backs involved. You got to get your big fellas. You got to get the tight ends going too. Certain moments in the game you know are just a little bit bigger. Here's one of them. Big play coming on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Grabbed in the middle, it's Grimes. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. The punt goes out of bounds, and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 16. And I think if you're the head coach, defensively now, obviously, you've got three timeouts in your back pocket. You're trailing at this point, and the offense is going to be running the football, trying to bleed the clock. They're going to take as much time off the game clock as they can before snapping it. You've got to start thinking about using some of those timeouts. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Fires to the wideout. And it's taken away by the defense, and they desperately needed that turnover. He would have loved to make the big return there, but he still gives his team the ball at the 37. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. They're down to the 25 on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Grabbed on the outside, it's Concepcion. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. And just understanding where you're out of the field, make sure you get those feet down before you get too close to that sideline so I get credit for that catch. Nice job, nice pitch, nice catch. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. To the air, it's McCall. Looking down the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. 
He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the 8. And a big opportunity for this offense to tie the game up in the fourth with a touchdown. Looking to throw. Feeling some heat. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. And that's exactly what this defense needed. They needed to have something positive. Giving up some yardage, they giving up some plays, no big deal. Got right back in it on this drive with that big sack. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. On the option. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. He wants it all. Throw to the end zone. It's picked off. And the senior just took that one out of the air and sends it the other way. It's such a fine line offensively. Late in the game, you got to score, you got to make big plays, but you can't turn the football over. Big time mistake. This one might cost them. Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. Looking for a productive play on first down. The give on the inside. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Right back to him on the ground. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. Using his legs, it chains. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. The Yellow Jackets decide to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Fields the punt and tries to work it the other way. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. Back to pass. It's McCall. Throws for the tight end. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Well, the defense finally showing some life there. It's been tough sledding, too, because this offense has been lighting them up through the air, but a nice individual effort that time, forcing the incompletion. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. And back to the air on second down. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. Yeah, and at this point of the game, guys, fourth quarter, you're trailing. You know that they're going to be throwing the ball and trying to be aggressive and try to climb back into this one. Couldn't come up with it there on second down. Let's see what happens on third. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away. They've got to push the ball down the field. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Well, they're down a possession, and they're on their own side of the 50, so they need a big one right here. They've just thrown three straight incompletions, but it just takes one. It just takes one big play down the field to all of a sudden get that momentum and that juice flowing again to give yourselves a chance to win. Fourth down, got to have it here. What a job to lay out and make the catch. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. 